This video is brought to you by Wanderlux. Wanderlux is an international travel agency that do year-round custom and group trips to destinations all over the world. They basically handle your flights, accommodations, activities, and more. They were kind enough to send me on a trip to Turkey, which made this video possible. I personally had a 10 on 10 experience, so plan your next adventure with Wanderlux today. Wake up. Get ready, commute, uni, work, sleep. Wake up, get ready, commute, uni, work, sleep. Wake up, get ready, commute, uni, work, sleep. It may only be today, but I can already give you a recap of tomorrow. Wake up, get ready, commute, uni, work, sleep, repeat, 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 repeat. It's the same room, the same four walls, the same route, the same routine, a pattern, a way of life that is just imprinted in my brain. Am I living life or is life just happening? Then suddenly, life is given meaning again. A purpose, a driving factor, anticipation, excitement. There's a glow within you and a spring in your step because you're going on an adventure. Istanbul. No two days in Istanbul ever looked the same. It was the starting point of our journey ahead, a mix of old and new, an amalgamation of cultures, rich history, the tastiest food at every corner, a city so alive and captivating. First, we learnt the ways of public transport, which I'm a bit too used to at this point. So I thought I would have to not take the metro anymore, but here we, we are again. Except this metro is really sketchy. I can't tell if that's a guy waiting or if that's a harmless man. <laughs> The streets are made and everything it's just so cozy it's very you know cool. like it's so it's cold but it's warm <laughs> you know okay it's very cold actually no i mean like the weather is cold but the the feeling is warm because yeah. like everywhere there's like food they offer like hot stuff you know it's like very loving like, yeah like kind of nice they like, just they give you a warm hug on these yeah, streets yeah of the right board. like that's what the streets feel like yeah. a warm hug yeah. <laughs> and then we made our way to the grand bazaar first shopping mall in turkey from the time of the ottoman empire <laughs> And we just spent all day. Oh, he's posing. Oh no, Pose. he, he 
guys is annoying. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met better salespeople than Turks. We got tea. The Grand Bazaar isn't too bad. It's not too bad. Some we, people are very nice some here. Some people are extremely nice. Like this gentleman here. Thank you so who much. Offered, who offered us free Turkish delights and tea. And tea. I had the best Turkish delight at yeah. the store. Yeah. And I also just had the best tea. This is pomegranate tea. And this is blueberry? Mulberry. Mulberry. What is mulberry? It's so nice. Yeah. You could go to a place with no intention of buying anything at all, but then end up blowing like all of your daily budget because <laughs> these salespeople will convince you that you absolutely need to buy stuff. Nice tea set for your home. What is the sales tax? <laughs> <laughs> So much to see with so little time. It hadn't even been 24 hours in Turkey and I was already smitten by it. Prosperous and bustling by day and by night, Istanbul nights. Now that is something that deserves a whole segment of its own. So we're gonna be coming back to that later. It's currently snowing and raining <laughs> after a bit of exploring and indulging in food that looked so tasty at pretty much every stop of the way we are like two homeless people watching the food being made inside <laughs> <laughs> we found a cute little place to warm ourselves up with some hot chocolate and now it's time for some hot chocolate boys the reason Turkey is the perfect country that everybody loves is because no matter where you're from, east or west, no matter which side you belong to, either in the east or the west, when you're in Turkey, you feel like the other half is your half too. Because Turkey is that place that brings people together, which is why they need foreign investment. Because it's a very appealing country to a huge demographic. Turkey in itself is a product to be marketed. It's like it combined the a Asians and the Europeans mm -hmm. together. And if the Asians come, they're like, I, mm -hmm. I feel a connection I, exactly. with the European side. Exactly. And it's vice versa. Exactly. So, and they're all like very considered people. Istanbul today and going on with our journey. Probably the best coffee this I've is amazing coffee. The second conclusion is Turkish tea is also superior. <laughs> that was amazing in here. And we haven't eaten anything. I am so hungry. Oh yeah, but this not And so with food in our system, we were ready to go up a mountain. We have made it 
to Borsa, like to the top of the mountain. It's not even the top, it's like the level before the top. I'll be really honest, I want to ski, but I'm too cold to ski. Like, um, Anyway, the snow here is beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen this much snow in my life. Um, yeah, like my feet are literally sinking. Look at the snow. I am just sinking in the snow. <laughs> Fat ass. <laughs> as you can clearly tell, this winter wonderland civilization was very fascinating to me. I met some new furry friends. which was very exciting for my inner child <laughs> that hasn't grown up around this much snow before. Um, and then it got too cold. So here you pick the meat and then you go and cook it yourself. Yeah, and meat. we're doing this because we're so cold and we just want to stand next to the fire. <laughs> yeah, literally, this is our hack. <laughs> By this point, it got way too cold to go on, so we needed to take a short break to get warm again. What are you doing? I'm just warming my feet. <laughs> I think what fascinates me the most is how dynamic nature is. Beauty takes form in so many different variations of nature, each so mesmerizing in its own way. Like the fact that if it's too cold, the clouds literally just start dropping tiny ice shapes is just so cool. Like God, how do you do that? <laughs> Wow, this is like having my own personal ring light. Hi, I'm currently in my hotel room. We got back from... I forgot what the place is called, but we were up on a mountain in a lot of snow. So right now it just feels really nice to be surrounded by some warmth. That's pretty much what's going on right now. I might go out tonight, I'm, I might, because I like to explore and I don't think I'm gonna spend the entire night sitting in my hotel room, but also, I wouldn't mind sitting in my hotel room all night because it's a pretty nice hotel room. Like, let me show you guys. So here's the uh, corner of the room. That is the disc. Uh, that's the mini bar that we don't even need to open. A mirror. And of course, a beautiful view of the city. And this opens. <laughs> so we're keeping that. It is so pretty Oh my god. Anyway, I've had enough of the cold for now. I'm gonna close that. After some late night Bursa explorations. Where are we? This is so cool. The yummiest three milk cake I've ever had and some shenanigans. We are literally in a snow globe and they're shaking us. <laughs> the night ended with a blur and morning came along. Oh, that is a beautiful morning. So this is 
the first or the second day of the trip? This is the third, the third day. Of the trip. Okay, so this is the third day of the trip. It's our third morning in it's Turkey. It's my third morning. It's your second morning. It's only my second morning. Yeah. We've done so much in so little time. Yeah. I feel like I've been here for a week. Anyway, I've called Omer into my room to have a coffee with me. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, indeed. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. Like, we are literally in a snow globe. Yeah, and right know. now, a kid has taken the snow globe and just shaken it. That's literally what the situation is and where we are. And there's like all these little things. And then you I say that every single time it starts to get starts to snow. Like, because it does feel like a snow globe every time it starts to snow. The world feels small. I do feel as if we're in a snow globe and I saw this in the morning when I saw the when I saw how it looks outside. I was like wow. Wow. Mm. Because we What the f why is this turning into a therapy session? I need this for my YouTube channel, you stupid <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? I'm gonna have to get Imad on as my guest next time. Yeah, Literally. Why don't you get like Yes. What okay. is happening? <laughs> Note to self. Stop it. You guys wouldn't have heard that conversation because I cut it all out. But note to self is don't do bits with Omar again. Just don't. He turns it into a therapy session. You see the camera, you see a person, you're like, okay, time to talk about the problems. <laughs> all right, time to have breakfast. See you later. After a beautiful breakfast and being a bunch of little kids snowball fighting, I'm just getting ready because we are leaving again in just a few minutes actually. And today we are off to Izmir, which is super exciting. So the guy who works at the hotel just came in my room and switched on the mirror, which is also the TV. <laughs> I mean, I didn't ask for this. I don't know why he did this, but I mean, it's kind of cool. There's a TV in my mirror. We have reached Izmir. There's definitely a difference with the city. Like the others kind of were in sync with each other but this one feels a little bit different it does feel different like yeah. i don't know they like each city kind of has its own personality Made and we've just been walking. This is where the map brought us and you know what the thing is about being a tourist and being in a foreign country where you don't really know anything about the country is you decide to explore. You decide to go on a walk because you're all like oh look at such a pretty street let's go explore it. I'm getting European vibes here like oh my god look at this alleyway hashtag aesthetic let's get pictures here you know and you could just walk down the shadiest street in town and we wouldn't even know that it's the shadiest street like a bunch of people could have died in that street and we'd just be with our phones out like oh my god take a picture of me please like, you know, that's literally how we've been walking around <laughs> this entire trip let's just walk you know what's gonna happen we're on a holiday <laughs> this proves my point the map is taking us here everything's closed <laughs> it's completely dark there's honestly you know what the map is saying it literally said go go here what the it's hell? that's the restaurant this you know what i don't want to have food here January, anymore bro, i'm actually scared because we're 
Like, please. Oh my god. So, a bit of exploring the city, mingling with the locals, and by morning, we were off to go sightseeing. So currently we are at some ancient Roman ruins place. Um, so we're gonna be looking at that. But anyway. That's my outfit of the day. about Roman or Greek history. I'm not really sure what it has to do with Turkey, but Roman history is interesting, I guess. Now it's time for the only bit of history that I remember from this tour. Which way? Oh, are these the toilets? These are ancient toilets. So our tour guide gave us a history lesson on how the Romans used toilets back in the day when doing your business was not a private act. Picture two Romans sitting there together. Like literally their legs are touching while they're doing their business. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. We just learned how the ancient Romans used to poop. And we are currently in the toilet. Latrina. Toilet. Toilet. The latrine. The latrine. And toilet. <laughs> this is it. This is when you want to do a number one. This is a number two. And, and this, this is, is when your the... stomach is really bad. Yeah, <laughs> toilet. What is with the cats everywhere? Dude, there are so many cats here! <laughs> Just found out this is a library. That is a brothel. I love the Romans, bro. Library, brothel, toilet, all in one. And we found out that uh, the reason a library and a brothel are right in front of each other is because libraries, back in the day, these Romans, I'm telling you, man, these Romans were just on another level. Libraries back in the day used to have secret tunnels which led to brothels. Chilling, reading a book or whatever. And you're like, you know what? I'm I getting bored. I had a bit too much of Fifty yeah. Shades of Romans. <laughs> Yeah. What did you just? You it literally just me. threw the cat. It scratched And you're me. still. Oh my god! Get away from it! Get away from it! Get away from the cat! Get away from the cat! Basically, the bottom line is, Romans were into some pretty weird shit. So then we had some lunch, which may not look so good, but it was homemade. And you could taste the love in it. The food tasted like, if I had an old Turkish grandma, this is the kind of food she'd make. There's really not much about this place, um, like looking at it now. But then thinking about it from the historical perspective, it's pretty cool to know that many, many, many hundreds of years ago, there were entire civilizations here. And now we're just walking over a bunch of rubble. I am a column. I feel like my snot is tuning into ice. You want a mask? I have a mask. No, yeah, this will help you. No, I don't want the one that fell on the floor. Omar is giving me a mask that fell on the floor. I have this, it's better and it's oh, thicker. Oh yeah, it's velvety. It just kills my aesthetic, so I don't like to wear it. Can I wear it? No, give it back. Not this shit. <laughs> yours already fell on the floor once, mine didn't. Why'd you throw mine then? Because yours was on the floor yesterday. <laughs> you were so mean. Oh man, I are not friends anymore, by the way. That's the recent development. 
Yeah, I'm tired of her like shit. You. She just I treats me like, like a dog. You. Look at it. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you I'm off the corner. Perfect day at the countryside. We made it to city number four.